Okay, Homer, pick out anyone you want. Are you sure you want to give me a car? Hey, you know what these things cost me? There's maybe 40 bucks worth of steel in them. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'd like a big one, then. We don't have a big one. Why not? Because Americans don't want big cars. Well, then give me one with lots of pep. Sorry, our cars don't have pep. Why not? Uh, because Americans want good mileage, not pep. Homer, <laughs> tell the nice man what country you come from. America. Do you hear that, you morons? This is why we're getting killed in the marketplace. Instead of listening to what people want, you're telling them what they want. Homer, I need your help. You do? Yeah. I want you to help me design a car. A car for all the Homer Simpsons out there. And I want to pay you $200,000 a year. And I want to let you. Homer, meet my team of engineers. They're going to build your car. Hiya, team. Now, boys and girls, this project is our top priority. Everything else is on hold. I don't want to see anything until it's finished. Well, but, sir, direct all your questions to Mr. Homer Simpson, the man with the vision. The man who's going to bust this company out of its rut. The man who's going to change American transportation forever. So, uh, what kind of car would you like, Mr. Simpson? I don't know. Here's what you do. From now on, before you say anything, say to yourself, if I was ever sure of anything, I'm sure of this. Do you understand? Sort of. <laughs> Homer, what? answer me again with self-confidence. Sort of. Now go get him. You I want a place in this car to put my drink. Sir, the, the car has a beverage holder. Hello, hello, Einstein. I said a place to put my drink. You know those super slakers they sell in a quickie mark? The cup is this big. Extremely large beverage holder. I'm not done yet. You know that little ball you put on the aerial so you can find your car in the parking lot? That should be on every car. Little ball. And some things are so snazzy they never go out of style. Like tail fins and bubble domes I and jack carpeting. Uh-huh. 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 All right, all right. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna hang up, call me back, and say the exact opposite of everything you just said. Goodbye. All right, Lisa, come over here. What is it, Unky Herb? I want you to hear what the guys down at the plant think of your old man. Yellow. Um, uh, Homer Simpson is a a brilliant man with lots of well-thought-out practical ideas. He is ensuring the financial security of this company for years to come. Oh, yes. And his personal hygiene is above reproach. Whoa, I just agreed. Way to go, Pretty Dad. Good, huh? <laughs> I want a horn here, here, and here. You can never find a horn when you're mad. And they should all play La Cucaracha. Can do, Mr. S. And sometimes the kids are in the back seat. They're hollering. They're making you nuts. There's got to be something you can do about that. Maybe a built-in video game would keep them entertained? You're fired. What is my brother paying you for? What about a, a separate soundproof bubble dome for the kids with optional restraints and muzzles? Bullseye! And another thing, when I gun the motor, I want people to think the world is coming to an end. Rum, rum, rum! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the car designed for the average man, the Homer. <gasps> oh. Any questions? What does this monstrosity cost? Jerry, what's the sticker price? $82,000! This monstrosity cost $82,000? What have I done? I mean, the zoo was fun, but...